Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for joining us for another divine worship service of the Ebenezer Baptist Church. Truly the Lord, even in the midst of all that's going on, the Lord is still good and he's still on the throne. Praise God for your presence on today. Reverend Black. Come on and bless the Lord with me. 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 Everybody bless the Lord with me. Yes, yes. You are. You 
yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, Lord Jesus. Recite our memory scripture so that you all don't forget it when we do reconvene. Oh, and Reverend, Reverend. Then Samuel took a stone, stone set, it, set it, up it up between Mishpah and, and Shin, and, and called, called its name Ebenezer, Ebenezer saying, Thus far the Lord has helped us. Now, wherever Hallelujah, you are, Jesus. Give God thank you, Lord. He is good. Ooh, and Jesus. His mercy endures forever come this morning uh, praying for those who are suffering with the virus, those who have lost loved ones. But we come with a praise report and talk to Pastor Dunlap this morning. Oh, Jesus! And Sister Dunlap is improving. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. She is responding to commands. So please let's keep Sister Dunlap and Pastor Dunlap in our prayer. Thank you, Lord. Look at God. Let's, let's go to God in prayer. Lord, we thank you and we praise you for yet another day. Thank you, God, because you kept us one more day mm. that we might see a one more sunny day. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. And we thank you for your mercy. Now, God, bless us, lead us, guide us, and direct us go into the word today allow your people listening ears and hearts that we all might be encouraged oh God to run on just a little while longer to see what they yes sir yes do. sir yes sir Lord we pray for those families going through bereavement we pray for those families who are dealing with illness and we pray for those God who don't have yes. sense enough ah, my God. Upon your name my God bless my God. God in a mighty way Touch yeah. where they need to be touched and bless them, oh God, where they need to be blessed. Yes, we Lord. ask it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. And we give you thanks and praise. Hallelujah and amen. We want to, first of all, thank Reverend Black. He's yes, Lord gift Jesus. To the body of Christ. Gift to Ebenezer Baptist bless Church. You, Just thank God for him. Thank God for each of you who are listening. We have, yes. a, we have a little trouble. We're not on YouTube live. And so you have to catch us on Facebook live and as well as the conference call line. 
Yes, Lord. I want to call your attention to Mark chapter 1, beginning at the 29th verse. Mark chapter 1, beginning at the 29th uh, verse. Yes, that's good, Reverend. And I'll be reading from the New King James Version of the Bible, Mark chapter 1. Mm. beginning at verse 29. And it simply says, Now as soon as they had come out of the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But Simon's wife's mother lay sick with a fever, and they told him about her at once. So he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Ha! And immediately the fever left her, and she served them. Reverend. For a couple of minutes, I want to talk about when there's a fever in your house. <laughs> when there's a fever in your house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This passage of scripture recorded in the Gospel of Mark talks about Jesus leaving the church house to go to the house of Simon, Peter, yeah. and Andrew. Mm. Yes, Jesus, sir. Yes, sir. The, the mighty miracle worker, had been in church where he had taught the scripture with authority. Yeah. And with the power he had against Satan in the wilderness, he cast out a demon from a man greatly possessed who was sitting up in church. Ah. Mark says immediately Jesus and his disciples, Peter, Andrew, James, and John, left the church and went to Simon and Andrew's house. Yes, sir. When he got there, he found that Simon's mother-in-law was in the bed stricken with a fever. Dr. Luke enlarges on what Mark says about her and says that she had not only had a fever, but she had a high fever. Yeah. So in other words, there was a fever in the house. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Mark reports that without any prescription or medicine, Jesus healed her by simply taking her by the hand and the fever left her body immediately. Yes, now, yes, she yes. She got up from her sick bed and began to cook and serve Jesus and all who were with him. Yes. When the word got out about the healings of Jesus, mm. the 33rd verse says that the whole city gathered about the door of the house of Simon and Andrew. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They laid their sick and those who were possessed by demons at the door and Jesus healed them. And I stopped by to tell you that Jesus is still mm. in the healing business. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I come when you want him. But it's yeah. always right on time. Oh, yeah. This miracle story of the healing of Simon's mother-in-law, as are all of the miracle stories, instruction to the church as how it should function in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It tells the church that the Lord is concerned about the family. Oh, Jesus. There is in the Gospel of Mark a constant emphasis on family. Yeah. In the first chapter, a man is in the synagogue afflicted with an evil spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In chapter 2, there is a young man who is paralyzed, and Jesus heals him, saying, Son, thy sins have been forgiven. Yes, sir, yes, sir. In the latter part of chapter 3, Jesus makes all of us aware that we are all a part of the family of God. Mm. In the fifth chapter, Mark tells us that Jesus went into a graveyard and healed a man who was possessed by a legion of demons. When the Lord, the light of the world, was done with the young man, he was found sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the young man requested to follow Jesus, the Lord told him, go home to your own people and tell them how much the Lord has done for you. Yeah, yeah. So the man went away and began to go all over town telling folk how much Jesus had done for him. Yeah. Mm. And then later on in chapter 5, Jesus heals Jairus' daughter. Yeah, talk in about chapter it. 7, a Syrophoenician woman 
brought a concern to the master. Yeah. Her daughter was possessed by a demon. Yeah. Jesus sent the woman on her way saying, go thy way. Everything is all right with your daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In chapter 8, Jesus fed 4,000 men with seven loaves of bread. In chapter 10, where divorce is a major concern of the Pharisees, Jesus lifted the little children up in his arms and blessed them. Jesus came according to the gospel of Mark with great concern for the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The scripture says that immediately Jesus and the disciples went from the synagogue into the house of Simon and Andrew. Yeah, yeah. When Jesus and the four disciples got to the house, the Bible says that Simon's mother-in-law was sick with a fever, uh -huh. a very high fever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, now, Mark does not tell us what caused the fever, but if we deal for a moment with what causes fever, Ooh. we might get a sense of the severity of this case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fever can be caused by one of two things. Yeah. According to the science of medicine, on the one hand, fever can be caused by a mental disturbance. Oh, teacher. On rare occasions, a mental disturbance can cause <laughs> a disruption of the bodily function. This causes the temperature to rise to the pitch <laughs> of the fever. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah. On the other hand, fever normally is caused by microscopic organisms which have found a body whose resistance <laughs> is low. Yeah, uh, yeah, whose yeah. Biological defenses have been torn down uh, by exertion. Yeah, yeah. These microscopic organisms enter the body and inflame body tissue. Yeah, yeah. Hence, the temperature of the body rises above the normal. 98.6 degrees. Mm. Uh, the effects of the fever are discomfort, soreness, loss of appetite. Ooh. Sometimes you get so bad off that you begin to shiver and shake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go into convulsions and you get so hot from the fever that it affects your brain and you become delirious and you talk out of your head and lose uh, your senses. Yes, yes. This is what fever can do to you. All because of some microscopic organism that has entered the body. <laughs> a germ that cannot be seen with the power of the eyes. Oh, so Reverend. this was the condition of Simon Peter's mother-in-law. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. Paint there, the picture. There she was, burning up with <laughs> fever. She was shivering and shaking. She was sore with discomfort. <laughs> yes, she well. was unable to eat, but maybe she was even convulsing and delirious. Mm. There was fever in the house. Yeah, yeah. There's also a lesson here for all of us to learn. Hmm. For there may be a fever in your house. I believe the home of Simon Peter mm -hmm. and Andrew mm -hmm. may be a typical example of what has happened to many people and many homes and many families in our day. Yeah, yeah. The home and family may not be sick from a fever like that which affected the body of Simon's mother-in-law. Yeah. But the home is sick with another kind of fever oh. that has caused the temperature to rise between the husband and wife and and parents and children. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your home sometimes uh. is a boiling in turmoil <laughs> and bubbling in trouble. Yeah, well, yeah. There is feuding, fussing, and fighting. Oh, Why? Jesus. Because there is a fever in the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Reverend. There is a fever in the house when every time you turn around, young black men and women are being gunned down Ooh. by crooked police officers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. There is a fever in the house when a man can become president of the United States who is a blatant liar and racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not only that, but there is a fever sometimes even 
in the church house. Oh, today. The church is supposed to be a house of prayer. But some of us have turned it into a house of gossip, backbiting, and lies. Yeah. <laughs> there is fever in the church. Yeah. Because people who claim to know the Lord so well have not allowed him to change them from the inside yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Paul yes. said, therefore, if any man be in Christ, yes. he yes. is yes. a new yes. creature. Yes. Yeah, yeah. All things are yeah. passed, passed away. away. Yeah. Yeah. Behold, yeah, yeah. all yeah. things become, become new. new. Yeah. Mm. There's a fever in the church. Yeah. Because where there's supposed to be love, there's hate. My My where there God. should be understanding, there's misunderstanding. Where there should be unity, there is disunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Why? Yeah. Because some folks spend more time with the devil <laughs> instead of taking the Lord with them everywhere they go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. But I got some good news today. Whenever there is a physical or spiritual sickness, yeah, uh, yeah, wherever yeah. there is a fever in the house, I stop by to tell you Jesus makes himself available, and that's good news. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Jesus went on that day from the synagogue to Simon and Andrew's house. Yeah where Simon's mother-in-law was laying sick with a fever. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And just like Jesus came to Simon <laughs> Peter's house, yeah. I stopped by to tell you he'll come to your house yeah, if you invite him. <laughs> the Bible says that they told Jesus about this woman who was laying on her bed sick from a high fever. Mm. Yeah. Simon said, Jesus, my mother-in-law is sick with a fever. She is tossing and turning on her bed. Yeah. She is shivering and shaking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She has lost her appetite. She's broken out in a mm. cold sweat. My God. And now she's even talking out of her head. Yeah. What can you do for her, Jesus? Yeah. <laughs> Ebenezer, I came by to tell you that whatever your issue is, yeah. whatever is bothering you, My you God. ought to try Jesus because he can work it out. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. If you want positive and quick results, yeah. you have to tell Jesus all about it. That's yes, it. Sir. That's it, Reverend. Not only can you have a fever if you are physically sick, mm. but you can have a fever if you are spiritually sick. Ooh yeah. <laughs> If you tell Jesus about the fever in your home, he will take things into his own hand. Yeah, right? yeah. When Simon told him about his mother-in-law's fever, Jesus went into the room. He saw this woman lying there in a cold sweat. Yeah, the yeah. The bed was wet from her sweat. The situation was out of the hands of the doctors. There there was no medicine that could help her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Jesus took matters into his own hands and took the woman by his hand and the Bible says lifted her up and uh, the fever yeah, left yeah. her and there was no more fever in the house. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Let me say that there may be a fever in your house. <laughs> your enemies may not leave you alone. There may be a fever in your mind. It might be a fever in your heart. Might be a fever in your home. And yes, even in your church. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't know what to do about it, I stop by to tell you, take it out of your <laughs> hands yeah. and put it in God's yes, hands. Sir. Yes, yes, sir. sir. Tell Jesus about it. Yeah. And he will drive out the fever and make things well again. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I stop by to tell you that in the hands of Jesus, yeah. everything will work out all right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what? There's healing in his hands. There's blessings in his hands. Yeah. There's love in his hands. Yeah. There's joy in his hands. Yeah. All you got to yeah. do is yeah. put it in yeah. God's hands. Right, right. Yes, sir. If you want to heal your home, yeah. tell Jesus about it. If you want to drive out the fever of fussing and fighting, yeah, tell yeah, Jesus yeah. about <laughs> it. If folk are lying on you, 
just tell Jesus about it. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. If there's trouble in your home, if there's trouble on your job, if you got a health trouble, if you got financial trouble, if you got <laughs> family trouble, tell Jesus. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. God, God. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whatever you need, all you got to do is tell him. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. He can turn your burdens into blessings. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. He can turn uh, your cares into comfort. Reverend. He can turn your <laughs> the, the thoughts into delights. Yeah. You know, he can turn your sorrow into joy. Yes, you know, sir. He can <laughs> turn your problems into praise. Yes. You know, and he can turn your weakness into strength. My yes, God. yes. Just tell Jesus. Jesus all about it. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. The songwriter said, I must tell, tell Jesus, Jesus. Ah. all of my trials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cannot bear yeah. these burdens alone. Oh, my God. In my distress, hey. he kindly will help me. He ever loves and cares for his own. Yeah. When there is fever in your house, when there is trouble in your camp, don't worry about it. Don't give up. Don't give in and don't give yes. out. But yes, just sir. put it in God's hands. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus can help you. Ha! Jesus can heal you. Yes. And, and Jesus can bless you. Yes, sir. Yes, Turn sir. Turn it over to Jesus and let him work it out. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. This virus has so many people worried. But I tell you, if you are a child of God, yes. you don't have to worry <laughs> about anything. Yes, sir. Because even if you get the virus, the Lord knows how to, 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 to save your life. Yeah. He knows how to heal your body. Yeah. yeah. And I stop by to tell you that I'm a living witness that he can heal your body. He, yes, he's Lord. He's in the healing business. All we got to do is trust him. Yeah, yeah Lord. So if you find yourself with a fever in your house, yeah, tell Jesus all about it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He will hear and answer your prayer. Thank you, Lord. He's willing. He's able to help you. Jesus will carry you through. God bless you and God keep you is our prayer. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. I must tell Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Lord, yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. All of my trials. Yo. Yes, yes, yes. I cannot be. Yes, sir. 
yes, sir, yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate your support and your encouragement. Yes, Lord and Jesus. That you would continue to keep each other in prayer. I must tell Jesus. Knowing yes. that God hears and he answers the prayers of the righteous. Yes, Lord, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you now for what our eyes have seen with great joy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The only wise God our Father. Oh, yeah. The glory, majesty, power, and, and dominion. dominion. Yeah. Now and forevermore. Everybody say hallelujah. 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 And amen. 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 God bless you.